Now let's say if we want to insert a fully working Excel sheet within Word document as an object, we can easily do this by going to the insert menu and we will go to the corner here in the insert menu and let's insert an object. You can just directly click here as well and it will show you these options. Now I can insert any object related to any office applications. We have different options. We have Excel options. We have options to insert chart. We can connect it with PowerPoint presentations, Word documents and other external applications. Now we will simply select Microsoft Excel worksheet and we will create this worksheet. So here it says result is insert a new worksheet into your document. So let's click OK and we can see that we can resize this Excel sheet and it is fully connected to Excel application. So if I click anywhere in the Word document, we can see that now it's fixed. But when we click within this table, it's a fully working sheet. So for example, I want to create some data here. We can see and we want to resize this column and we have the sheet number one here. So it works just like Excel. So for example, I write here salesperson one and when I scroll down, it will automatically pick up the numbers in the incremental sequence. So we have already mentioned the name here. So let's delete this. Actually, let's keep it two columns only. And let's say I want to mention some amounts here. Let's say thousand here, 2000 here, and let's double click and send it down. So it will automatically pick up all the other values. And whenever I want to sum, we will use alternate equals sign or alternate plus sign. So it works just like Excel. Let's hit enter and we are good to go. This is the final figure. So let's say this is total. So if you want to crop this extra part, what we can do is just double click here. When you see the Excel kind of interface, then you can reduce the fields like this. And then we can click anywhere outside the document. And afterwards, we can also write some details about it. So as we can see here, I have written, here's the salesperson's monthly sales report in the table below. So here is the complete report. So this is how we can easily do this. Now here we have created a separate blank Excel worksheet. What if I want to connect it with an existing data of Excel? We can use the same option, go to the insert menu and just click on any area that is blank. And in the insert menu, we will go to the object but this time we will not create a new document, rather we will create it from a file. So let's choose the file. Now this one is our sample file. Let's select this and here you need to specify something. If you want to link both files, that means that whenever we update anything within that Excel sheet, it will automatically update in Word as well. So if you want to link that, we have to decide at this point. After that, you have to refresh the link by just deleting that and doing it all over again. So if we want to link that, we need to check this box. Otherwise, we can keep it blank. So in this case, let's connect the two. Let's click OK. And we can see this data showing directly from the Excel sheet. Let's say we change this figure in the Excel sheet. Now, whenever we save this document, let's say we want to save this document. It will ask you for the location. So let's choose a location for it. Let's choose desktop and let's click save here. Now let's try to make some changes here. Let's say I want to convert this to 75,000. And when I press enter, let's check the word document now. So right now it's not updated, but if we need to update that, just simply right click and click on update link. And this should update. As we can see, now the figures turn 75,000. So this is an amazingly useful feature of Microsoft Word. Just try it by yourself and I will see you in the next one.